Yo, what's going on boys? It's me, Daily Tactics here, back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, and in today's video, we have every single clone trooper legion defending this Republic uh, military island here. They've got multiple, you know, satellite dishes here, so clearly this is some sort of an outpost that they need to keep up uh, in order to transmit signals from legion to legion, so every clone trooper legion stuck uh, a representative or two here of their troopers uh, to defend it, I guess? I don't know. The lore is flimsy, but it's a fun battle, so lore doesn't really matter that much. Uh, so regardless, every clone trooper legion here is defending against endless waves of battle droids. Uh, the droid army is literally endless today, uh, much like the video we did last week, and uh, people seem to love the concept of the endless wave so much, and I had so much fun with it that I thought we'd do another video of it very fast very quickly. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. If you have more suggestions of what I can do with this sort of endless wave technology that we have just discovered in Men of War, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to like the video. Let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, without further ado, let's get it going, boys. Hey guys, real quick before this video begins, I wanted to let you know about Broken Lines. Broken Lines is an alternative reality World War II story-driven tactical RPG game. It is very similar to the vein of XCOM 2 and is one of the main reasons why I think you guys would enjoy it so much. If you want to see some gameplay of this, I did a funny moments video of it not too long ago. Link to that will be in the description below. In addition to that, down there will be a link to the Steam page for Broken Lines. I'd really appreciate it if you guys just hopped down there and took a few seconds to check it out. I think the game is seriously awesome and I genuinely had a ton of fun playing it when I did, so I'd love to see this game succeed and I think the developing team uh, is really cool as well. So definitely, definitely go check that out in the description below. It helps out my channel a lot and I think you guys will find that it is a fantastic game. So so thank you guys so much for listening to this little plug in the middle of the video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Peace! Alrighty then boys, let's go ahead and press start right now and see how the clone troopers do against unlimited droid power. So the first wave of droids comes on forward here off of this bridge entrance and uh, they're getting pretty beat up here. They are getting some good fire off at the clones too, but the clones are absolutely destroying and scrapping many, many, many of these battle droids. It is no contest at the moment. The second wave hasn't even come in yet. Oh! I stand corrected, there is the second wave right there. So it takes about 30 seconds for each wave of droids to enter into the battlefield. It's enough time where the clones, if they manage it properly and they manage to get the kills, um, they can actually sustain this defense probably indefinitely unless they somehow screw up and, uh, you know, run out of ammo, something like that. So, you know, they're sitting pretty right now uh, as the second wave comes in. And there, there's the third wave right there. Um, and the droids are sort of starting to hunker down a little bit more they're not getting as much fire off as in the beginning as their losses begin to mount if i were them what i would do is i'd just lay low with each wave and then eventually once i've gathered enough troopers then do one massive assault but they seem to be sort of going in with the uh, the trickle in strategy just sort of trying to get as many kills on the clones as possible early on not having too much regard for their troopers um that sort of a thing but uh, you know a few of them are collecting in the back so maybe they're doing a bit of a mix of their strategy and my strategy together which is not a terrible idea i mean they are getting some clone trooper kills we can already see which clone legions are the weakest link 65th has a couple of dead uh 327th has a couple dead uh 41st elite corps 501st legion over there um standard scout trooper Another 501st trooper over there. Obviously, this doesn't really speak to the brawn or the brains of each legion because, you know, they're just sort of slapped together on these defensive lines. It's not like, you know, they're they're more pow more powerful than one another. Except for maybe the clone commandos are. I don't know. Um, 
But you know what I mean? Like, it, it doesn't really speak to the power of each Legion, but it can be kind of fun to see which Legion members end up surviving longer in the battle. We still have a pretty steady defense here in the front lines. I mean, they're they're doing pretty well. It's not, it's not going horribly. The droids are gathering more and more reinforcements, though, and uh, I imagine a big push is probably in the works here um, from the droid leaders at some point here. Um, but for now, the clones seem to be steadily knocking them down. I haven't really seen too too many clone deaths since that uh, initial, you know, surge of clone deaths. Another droid wave coming on in here. You know, it's kind of fun to see just like how many kills the clone troopers can get against endless battle droids. But at the end of the day, battles like these, they always feel a little bit fruitless because you know the clones literally cannot win. Like, it's impossible for them to win given the fact that the droids have unlimited numbers so that can be slightly demoralizing but it's still such a fun battle premise that like you gotta do it you know it's fun it's not like you know a heavily sort of um you know realistic battle or anything like that well i guess it could be because didn't the droids have like literally trillions of droids coming out of the factories every single day so like unlimited is of course not true in that sense but like in, in the grand scheme of things, in perspective, the droid army could appear to be statistically unlimited compared to the clone army. Of course it's not, but just the sheer numbers that they had would make it seem so daunting that it would be almost unlimited. So, it's like partially realistic, but at the same time, it's totally not, so it's like, you know, I, I'm, I'm torn between it because it's like... It's a fun type of battle, but it also, I don't want to do them all the time because it, it gets a little bit of a bummer when literally one side cannot win, you know? It, I do like a good battle where it's 50-50 and you don't really know who's going to win. That's like my favorite type of battle, um, is where it's up in the air and, and either side could take the cake or, you know, I love a good underdog story. I love a comeback, so uh, that's just not possible here, you know? The clones, they can get as many kills as they possibly can, but they will never be able to win because there's just too many droids coming in. And as we can see, the droids are stacking their lines right now, clearly preparing for a massive surge forward. A few of their droids have, in fact, done so, and there's a couple, you know, way up front here, but very few have tried that yet. I think they're waiting for one big push all together. Maybe after another uh, group of droids has spawned in, they will give it a try. And there is that other group. And uh, yeah, we are seeing some more trickling in forward here. Not too many clones left alive on these initial sandbags. I mean, obviously, we do have more way out here. This sandbag over here, directly right of the droid bridge, is completely down for the count, but then some further up here are completely intact still, though not really too active in the battle. And then, of course, we've got all these clones back here. We've got all these clones back here, back here, over here. So there's still a lot of clone troopers left alive in this battle, but the initial defenses are starting to crumble a little bit. You can see that this Shadow Trooper has 6 kills, this Doom Legion Trooper has 0, this uh, 327 Trooper has 2, this clone has none, this guy has none, this guy has none. I'm imagining these guys probably have none. Yep, these guys have none. Most of the troopers that were getting kills are dead, which is not a great sign, you know? That guy has 2, that guy has 2. Um, this guy's got 4, this guy's got none, this guy's got none. Yeah, because most of the clones that were getting these early kills on the battle droids are already dead because the droids killed them. We can see that the droids are now starting to really pour off of the bridge here, and this is where we're going to start seeing, um, in my opinion, the clone lines faltering and dying for real here. This is probably going to be the start of the end of the clone army on the... Um, the little island here. Here's the droids fully emerging from their bridge position here. They have gathered together as many droid troopers as possible um, in this endless wave um, assault and now they are using them at their full potential and charging on forward here really really intensely uh many of the clones who were sort of hiding behind cover over here are finally starting to go down i think these defenders right here behind these uh pieces of cover i think these guys will do very very well um in fact they're already starting to get some grenades off which is bea beautiful that grenade doesn't end up oh it does end up getting some kills because it blew up the uh transport ship right there uh which killed some droids that were surrounding it that's actually really cool i like that a lot uh, that's a dope dope thing right there Oh, droids utilizing some grenades too, taking after the clone tactics there. Managed to get those two kills on those clones. These guys should start grenading more. I mean, that was a that was a great strat. Don't stop it now, boys. Keep her going. 
keep her going. The back lines way over here are thriving right now as they're able to now start pouring fire into these droids, though some of them are starting to go down. Um, yeah, most of these guys have a kill or two, it seems. Actually, only a few of them do. Yeah, they're not doing too great. A few of them are, in fact, dying early on as well. Oh, more grenades coming from these clones as well. They're the only guys left alive in the front lines, the quote-unquote front lines over here. They're, you know, sort of, sort of in the front lines. Um, mainly because they've got decent cover, and they can cover, you know, this flank, they can cover this flank with this 187th trooper, and they can cover the front. So this, this could be a nice little, you know, holdout area for the clones for quite a while if they do manage to, um, you know, keep on scrapping droids that come on in there. Could be beautiful, boys. Could be absolutely beautiful. Um, by the way, I, I wanted to address this because um, I've been getting a lot of comments about it. Some people are sort of uh, upset that I've been uploading so much Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Um, but if, if you notice, I'm sort of only doing it in the mornings or on double upload days. Because I've had more free time, I've been doing a lot more double uploads. Um, and because people, I think, are bored and I want to try and entertain them a little bit. But, um, you know... It will not disrupt our regular schedule of Men of War or XCOM or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm just adding it sort of as an additional bonus video, those totally accurate battle simulator videos. So, um, you know, not to worry. I'm still doing sort of like my normal upload schedule throughout the week. Just tabs is now being added on, um, which, you know, I think some people are really happy about while others would rather I do additional Men of War stuff. But tabs is easy because it's... It only takes me like an hour to make a Tabs video, while a Men of War video can can sometimes take an hour to make, but it can also sometimes take like three, because Men of War is very persnickety um, and more difficult to work with than Tabs sometimes. So, um, you know, I, I want to try and still balance out my content while also, you know, uh, you know, doing some new fun stuff. And it seems like most people are really happy that I'm including more Tabs stuff um, on the main channel here with Star Wars Tabs. So. Um, Overall, I've seen a lot of positive response, but I just want to reassure people um, who might be worried that I might oversaturate my channel with it. I won't, you know. I'm going to keep on doing Meta War stuff like this. Um, either way, the clone lines back here are starting to crumble as well. Few troopers are left alive. That front line, of course, is all now gone. We witnessed their demise in real time there as the endless droids eventually managed to grind them down. But they did get a lot of kills there. The problem now is that the droids have a lot of cover as they're utilizing the clone trooper defenses for their own offense, uh, which makes it harder to kill than when they were sort of just in a choke point there. So they're managing to come a lot farther forward a lot stronger now too and still continuously getting reinforcements so these clone lines back here are in a world of pain right now they are taking some pretty significant losses uh, still but there's still pockets of resistance there are still plenty of clones that will hopefully manage to get more kills on these droids because that's what this is all about we want to see more and more droids dying um, it's about how many droids can the clone troopers kill it's not about whether they can win or not it's about how well they'll do in the battle overall so um you know we're still seeing a few droids getting scrapped here or there but now with the numbers proliferating and them spreading out so much uh it's becoming more and more difficult for the clones to perform well in this battle um and their losses are just beginning to mount more and more and they're getting less fire off. But the uh, very backline defense here within the woods uh, seems to be getting activated now. Lots of fire coming from these clone troopers. Hopefully they manage to hit a few droids with it um, and scrap some of them. And we're already starting to see that. A few droids going down uh, over this way. We are starting to experience some more lag, which is another problem with this endless battle. Is that the droids keep on proliferating and they keep on coming. And, you know, it's just going to wear and tear on my computer a little bit here. But, um... You know, if it comes down to it and it ends up being like 4 FPS, I'll obviously start deleting droids because that is just not fun to watch in the slightest when the battle drops down into freaking negative FPS. That's just disgusting and it hurts your brain to watch that kind of FPS. So um, we're not quite there yet. We're still getting like a steady 18, which I think is watchable. So it's not too bad. And I mean, clones are dying too, so that's increasing our FPS. There's no, you know... There's no shortage of dead clones. It's mainly a shortage, <laughs> shortage of dead droids that we're experiencing right now. Um, overall, in this battle, I think that the clones will end up killing more droids than uh, they've taken clone losses, which is kind of a victory in its own right because it's like, 
you know, as long as you kill more droids than you lost clones, at least you can argue that the battle was a semi-success? Not a full success, certainly, but, like, at the very least, you're doing something right, I guess. Sort of? Maybe? I don't know. That clone commando does end up going down there, and that is the end, I believe, of these back lines. Nope, there's one trooper still alive in this little dugout area over here. Oh, there's another 501st trooper over there, too. He's dead now. There's one clone right there, um, and then we've got a final defense over here amongst these crates. These clones getting shot at by a plethora of droids. Not really any shots hitting. That grenade lands up there and kills that scout trooper. Hate to see it. Hate to see it, fellas. These clones over here trying to defend, but this is a tough spot. That droid just blitzes him and wipes him out right there real quick lack. No bueno. No bueno. Come on, guys. Fight! Win! Oh, this droid. Oh, they got the kill on that droid, so that's good. There's another kill. Nice! There you go, boys! You got this! Oh, grenade. You don't got this. Bye bye Half of those clone troopers and another droid sort of pops in here um, and starts killing. Oh, that pilot got back up, though. Nope, he's dead! Alright! Um, wait, there's one clone left alive? Oh, hello. I think he's glitched right now, actually. Here, we'll emerge him and Rambo him, I guess. No, <laughs> He's dead. Bye-bye. All right, endless droid battle. Obviously, the endless droids won. We knew that was going to happen. But we can check out the losses here. So yellow are dead droids, red are dead clones. And I mean, the clones did continue to get kills after this initial choke point, just significantly less so, I would say. I mean, we're still seeing a lot of dead droids all around, which is kind of epic. Um... So, I mean, good on the clones for holding out for as long as they did. Obviously, they got just an insane amount of kills in the very beginning here. Look at all these dead droids. And I would say, overall, they probably did kill more droids than they lost clones, but it, it was more even than I thought it would be. So, obviously, the endless droids win once again. We expected that to happen. Um, but it's more about the journey than the end result. Some crunchy, hippie crud saying right there. No, but really, it was a very fun battle, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun. We got to see all the clone legions that are in the game fighting, um, and we got to see how they would fare against endless droids. Let me know if you want to see more content like this. Be sure to comment down below if you do. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!